How's it going, everybody? Today, I am super excited because today marks the start of a mini series that I've been hinting at for a few videos now in which I attempt to add to my small special edition Switch console collection. You can see here, I've got the Mario Odyssey version, I've got the Animal Crossing and also the Pokemon Switch Lite, but the rest of the special edition consoles are really my big grails for my Switch collection. So the ones that I don't have yet, which I'll picture up here, are the Diablo 3 Switch, the Splatoon 2 Edition Switch, the Pikachu, Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee Switch, and the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Edition Switch. Now, the trouble with collecting these is that they are super expensive. And I think especially now, given that Switches in general are spiked in price, the prices of the special edition consoles are even worse than they normally are. I know the Animal Crossing one at one point at least was going for north of $800 on Amazon. I'm not sure if it's still there, but I'm looking at having to shell out probably at least five to $600 for one of these guys if I can get a good deal. And the thing is, I am not at a point in my business or with my personal budget where I'm willing to just front that kind of money for something that I want for the collection. And not only that, but it kind of would diminish the thrill of the hunt, the thrill of the find that I am so addicted to. So what I'm going to do to attempt to snag one of these special edition switches is basically buy and sell and trade my way up. This series was inspired in part by Retro Rick. If you guys haven't found his channel yet, you definitely should check it out. He has a series on his channel called the $10 Game Collection in which he started out with 10 bucks, bought some games with it, and then sold those for a profit, and then took that money and bought more games and is building a game collection that way. And I know that other people and other channels have done that as well in the past. If you know of some, definitely drop them in the comments because I love to check them out as well. But what I'm trying to do is not necessarily build a collection, but rather build up a fund to buy a grail item. So I thought that it would be appropriate to start, rather than starting with a dollar amount, start with one of the current Switch games that I have in my collection, sell that, and then use that to kick off the challenge and to start buying and selling my way up to one of those special edition consoles. So pretty much all I need to do now is decide what game I want to sell. So here is my current Switch collection stash right here. I'm very proud of where the collection has come in probably only four months or so of having a Switch. What I'm really looking for here more than anything is a title that I really don't have all that much interest in keeping, but that does have a decent dollar amount value. So right off the bat over here, I have all my limited run games. Those are all going to stay in the collection because uh, I know that those are going to be keepers for me. So moving along here, we have some other games. A lot of these I've gotten really cheap uh, from GameStop sales, Owlboy collection of mana I got in a trade, L.A. Noir, kind of like those so far, Spyro I got in a wholesale deal, Just Dance 2018. Now that's one that I don't see myself playing in the near future, but uh, I know it does have some decent value, especially now, so that could be a contender for us. Put that up there. What else do we have? Dragon Ball Fighters. That one I also, I played didn't really love it, uh, but I don't think this one is worth more than like 15 or 20 bucks, so I'll keep that for now. Jurassic World was from GameStop. Ark Survival was a trade deal. Octopath Traveler, I can't remember. Uh, those, all of these so far, I kind of want to keep. Pokemon I'm keeping. Okay, here's an interesting one as well. This one I got... Uh, in a bulk deal. You can see, I think this, I don't know if that, that's the PAL version or what it is. It actually doesn't look like the normal seven or whatever that you would see for PAL. But I do think that 1-2 Switch has retained its value fairly well. And I don't think it has all that much play value. I think it's the kind of game that you kind of play once and you're kind of done with it. And in addition to that, it doesn't match all the other games in my collection because the uh, rating down here is not North American. So I'd actually be pretty happy to sell this off. I think this is what I'm going to use to start off the challenge here. Alrighty, so I got the 1-2 Switch listed. I did look it up and I realized that that rating system is actually from Australia. 
So I'm not really sure if that's going to help or hurt the value. Uh, I listed it on eBay because the Amazon listing just sells far too infrequently. The normal copies, like the American copies of one two switch we're going for in the high 20s to mid 30s i don't know if the if it being the australian version is going to help or hurt the value because i feel like on one hand it might be a little bit more sought after for collectors but on the other hand i think it may actually scare off the average buyer because uh, maybe they don't know that the switch is region free and it doesn't matter. I decided to price it at $30 with best offers on over 25. So we'll see how it goes. But just for today, because I really want to go out hunting, I'm going to fudge the rules a little bit and I'm going to give myself a $20 budget knowing that I'll get at least that after shipping and fees when it does sell. But I really just don't want to wait for it to sell just this one time. And also it's my challenge, so it's my rules. So I'm going to go out and hit uh, two thrift stores and also a pawn shop and we're gonna see what we can come up with to flip for this challenge I'm gonna stick I think I'm gonna try to stick with video game related stuff But if the right deal comes along, you know, I'm gonna have to flip it and build up that cash flow Alrighty, well, I just pulled up to my favorite pawn shop in Lexington Dan's right by my house They normally have great deals on consoles and games in here Recently though, pawn shops have been pretty cleaned out of both consoles and games, but I figured it would be worth stopping in with my big old $20 and seeing what I can make happen. Well, folks, there's some construction going on over there, so I'm sorry if you hear that, but I had to show this right now because this was a mega, mega score. Check this out. So I head in there, and you saw I was checking out the games. There actually were a few solid scores there. These are what I picked up for the challenge today. Uh, we have Killer is Dead on the PS3. That was four bucks. Skylanders Imaginators was four bucks, and then Pac-Man Party was two. This goes for about 10 after fees this goes for around 17 after fees and this goes for 20 after fees on amazon so those were some really good challenge pickups but then they had these other items which i do not have the budget for for the challenge right now but i was extremely surprised to find check this out they had not one but two Nintendo Switch systems for uh, $250 each. This one is actually complete and in decent shape. This one I'm gonna have to sell in acceptable condition. And $250 is normally pushing it a little bit for an acceptable condition Switch. I will have to put a, uh, they have the dock and the charger with it and I'll have to find an HDMI to put with it. It is missing the kickstand. But the reason that I was still pretty stoked about it was that they did not check the game compartments of these and this one if i can get it here has minecraft for the switch that's about a 20 dollars game after fees and the other one even better includes uh mario kart 8 for the switch which is really incredible this one has all of the parts i just sold a couple of these as soon as they hit the warehouse for 447 dollars so to pay 250 for the switch and a game is really excellent this one i'll still be able to get 404 so this will be at least a hundred dollar profit on the bad one and then more than that on the good one plus they had a couple of ps3s here one of them was console only so i'll have to find components to put with that but that was only 25 dollars and then the other one here uh also both of these are only 120 gig but this one was 50 bucks and it had an original controller and components and everything we tested it out it worked good uh, and those are selling for over $200 for me on Amazon. 
So we had an unexpectedly incredible first stop here, both for the business acquisitions and also for our challenge, since we're only working with 20 bucks to only have to spend 10 on those and still have 10 to work with for other stuff is really nice. In addition to that, I also got some really solid intel that apparently because the unemployment stimulus has stopped, people are starting to uh, need to make payments on stuff and their acquisitions, the pawn shops acquisitions are actually up significantly. They're getting consoles much more consistently than they were, which is really good news for me because consoles are still selling really high for me. So I'm probably going to add pawn shops back into my regular sourcing routes along with video game stores, which opens up a whole world of opportunities. And uh, so yeah, if this is something that you guys do as well, consider checking back into your pawn shops because for a couple months there, shelves were completely bare both of games and of consoles so to be able to walk into one and pick up four consoles and three games is just really exceptional so i'm stoked about this first stop now it's time to head to salvation army of note at that Salvation Army. You guys saw their video game section was pretty disappointing, but time to go to Goodwill and see if we can have a little bit more luck there. Well, that Goodwill did not disappoint. So the first thing, probably most important thing that we got was this treasury of Winnie the Pooh that is super vintage and cool. It's got Winnie the Pooh, the House of Pooh Corner, when we were very young, and now we are 6'4 AA Milne titles. And I know a certain tubby little cubby who will be very happy to see this when I bring that home. And then uh, not for the challenge, I also got this Entourage uh, seventh season. This was sealed and the lowest new listing for this on Amazon was $25. I'm just trying to learn the DVD category a little bit better. So I figured for two bucks, that's definitely worth the risk. And then for the challenge, I got these two games, which I was really surprised on the value of both. The first one is Toy Story 2 on the PlayStation. She actually rang these up as CDs. So these were a dollar a piece. This, the lowest offering for this on Amazon is $40, which I thought was really high. So I double checked on eBay and the comps are anywhere from like 12 to $30 on there. So I really don't know what to make of this game. I'm gonna list it on Amazon and try to beat out the competition and see how quickly I can sell it. If I could get in the 30 to $35 range, that would be excellent. But either way for a dollar, that's worth the risk. And then the other one was Sheep Raider. This is a Looney Tunes game. It unfortunately is missing the cover artwork, but same story on this, $40 on Amazon was going all day for 35 to 40 in complete condition on eBay as well. So I would say probably looking at $30 for this before fees and stuff, which is excellent. I don't find PS1 games at thrift stores all that much. So that was a really nice surprise. And while I was in there, the copy of 1-2 Switch that I listed sold for full price, $30 on that. After fees and shipping, it'll end up being $22.50 that I had to start out. I spent $12.50 today on the games that I got, so that leaves me with $10 still to hunt with. Right now though, I'm going to go back and call it a day. I'm gonna see with these five games that I got how many of them I can get to sell within this next week. And then after they do, I will check in with you guys and let you know what they sold for and hopefully go out and buy some more stuff. So thank you guys so much for coming along. I'm really stoked about this series, stoked about my pickups today. Let me know if you guys are as excited about this series as I am. I would love to get your feedback on it. And if you're watching my channel and have not subscribed yet, I would really appreciate if you would do that. It really does mean a lot to me. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys on the flip.